Former NWA referee Tom Young shoots on Lex Luger, the good and the bad in his estimation. Of course, Lex Luger had a bad rap, but I thought Luger was solid myself. I remember Capital Combat 1990. Luger had a staph infection. He still went out there and performed. He had a great match against Flair. They had really good matches back, way back in the 80s up to the 90s, of course, specifically with this one. Anyways, regarding Tommy Young, who's a straight shooter, talks about Luger. Again, the good and the bad about Lex Luger. Let's get right to it. Lex Luger. Wax. Oh, Wax. I never felt that Lex really fit in. Lex is a nice person, got a body like you wouldn't believe, and drew some pretty good money with Flair and, and with others, but Lex's heart never really seemed to be in wrestling. Now, I might be wrong in that aspect, but uh, Lex also was very heavily dependent on the referee. I'll never forget this time we were, uh, I don't remember where we were, but we had a referee. He was just with us for a little while. His name was uh, Sal, Sal Corrente was his name. Uh, this particular night, I was, I was the head ref. I did whatever matches I wanted, gave whoever what I didn't want to do. This particular night, Sal came up to me and said, Tommy, I would really like to do Lex's match. I've never refereed Lex before. Okay, Sal, you can have Lex's match. So, <laughs> Lex is in the dressing rooms, lacing his boots up, and I walked up, I said, Lex, Sal will be doing your match tonight. And Lex was like, slowly looked up at me, What's the matter with you? Well, there's nothing wrong with me, Lex. Sal just expressed an interest to do your match. I told him he could do it. I don't want Sal to do it. I want you to do it. All right, Lex, but I mean, the kid wanted to do your match. That's why. Right. He about threw a fit, but then he calmed down, and Sal actually did do the match. And it came out all right. And I'll tell you something else about Lex. We were in Uniondale, New York, Nassau Coliseum. They flew me up to referee, but they forgot that it's a very strict commission. Commission wouldn't let me ref. I remember Crockett saying, what are you doing here, Tommy? I said, I don't know, Jimmy. I told y'all I couldn't ref, and you gave me a plane ticket and sent me up here anyway. They wouldn't let me ref. So I didn't do anything that night. Just sat around. Well... We were going back on a private plane. Crockett had a private plane back then. And I'll never forget this. I tried to get a cab to get back to the plane. Everybody was leaving. There was nobody left except one car. Sal's car. Sal come out. I'm standing around not knowing what to do. Virtually everybody's gone. Sal come out, looked at me, got in his car, waited. Nikita. Cause Sal was Nikita's buddy. That's how Sal broke in with Nikita. Nikita came out, take a look, took a look at me, got in the car. He waited. Here come Lex. Lex starts to get in the car, turns around, looks at me. Tommy, what are you doing? Well, I've been waiting for a cab for about a half hour, Lex. I don't know what the hell's going on here. He said, damn, Tommy, the building's about closed up. I don't think anybody's going to be coming now. You better come with us. Sal... And I don't want to put Nick down. But, I mean, neither Sal or Nick was concerned about whether or not I got out of there or not. It was Lex that said, you come with us. And I was able to, and, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything bad about Nick, because Nick, Nick's really a pretty good guy. I, I had a little trouble with him. He wasn't real humble when he first broke in, but he's he's really a good guy. And uh, it might have just been an afterthought. Maybe it was with Sal, but it was Lex that made sure I got back and got on that plane. You said that he needed more help? Uh, he, he depended more on the referee than other guys do. Now, you know, I mean, I, I didn't do all of Lex's matches, so he was okay, I'm sure. But some guys depended on me more than others did. You had, everybody's got a different style. I always tell the referees, 
the young ones, relax, it gets easier. Because as you continue along, you get to know the different guys' styles, what they like to do. I knew what Flair was going to do before he did. But when you do the same, uh, you're working the guy all the time, they get to do a certain amount, a certain pattern. They, they mix it up, of course, for the different towns. But uh, every guy is different. Some guys, it's a night off. Other guys, you got to work your tail off. But Lex, a good guy, had a hell of a body. I may be wrong about it, but I really don't think Lex really had the passion for this business. Certainly not the way a flair does, but that's probably not a fair comparison. But I think Lex Sluger is a gentleman I have a lot of respect for.